in the combat of pit bull breed dogs. There are several breeders, with their own training and feeding methods. And today I'm going to hand over the Jeep Rum Owner's Tract. The Dogman's Deal, James Crenshaw. To begin with, you must have a healthy dog. This is a maintenance period of 12 weeks. For the first four weeks, I walk the dog 10 miles a day. I walk him every day for those four weeks, and I feed him an hour after the walk. If the show starts at 8, then I walk my dog from 5 to 8. These four weeks are to precondition the dog, and bring him closer to fighting weight. It is very important to get everything out of the intestine, or internal fat from it. If you can't get the fat out of your intestines, heart, lungs, and liver, you can't get you into shape. For the first four weeks I feed the dog this way below. One cup of Pro Plan Adult Formula, Chicken and Rice. A cup of Kellogg's All Bran. One or two minced garlic cloves. One tablespoon of chopped spinach. Two cups of chicken broth. A cup of cooked chicken. Place the first four items on the feed tray. Heat the last two items, then pour over the first four. To make the chicken in stock, I place 15 chicken thighs in a three-quart pot, and fill it with water. Cook until soft, and place in the fridge when cool. In the fifth week. The 10-mile continuous walk from 5 to 8. Immediately after the walk, still warm, he does 5 minutes on the treadmill. When he gets off the treadmill, walk him for 30 minutes to cool down. Then rub it well and place it in your quarters. Prepare his food and feed him an hour after he gets off the treadmill. If your dog is losing a lot of weight, feed more kibble. If he is dehydrated, increase the liquid. However, if he is losing a lot of weight, it is possible that you are at the wrong weight. You should not give him water between the treadmill and feeding time. But when you go to feed him, put at least half a liter of clean water, where he has access and can drink. The water must be changed and the container cleaned daily. I read once that someone said that the green stuff in the water is not bad for the dog. You will repeat the same thing every day in the fifth week. With only five minutes of work on the treadmill, it shouldn't be necessary to rest it. But this time is just a guide. You have to use common sense. If the dog is tired or not feeling well, rest him. In the sixth week. Walk ten miles from five to eight. Put it ten minutes on the treadmill. Do the massage and everything will remain the same. If the dog loses weight, add more food. Everything else remains the same. Be sure to replace the water. In the seventh week. Walk ten miles from five to eight o'clock. Put him twenty minutes on the treadmill. Do the massage. Everything else is the same except for matting and cooling down time. With 10 miles of walking, 20 minutes on the treadmill, and 30 minutes to cool down. The dog must be drying little. At this time I leave all the ingredients the same, except for the liquid and the chicken. I put in three whole chicken thighs, including skin and boneless. Broth add one ladle per pound of body weight. 40 pound dog gets 40 ladles of broth daily. Wait an hour after massage and feeding. Put water for him to drink. In the eighth week. Walk the same ten miles from five to eight o'clock. Fifteen minutes on the treadmill. Walk thirty minutes to cool down, do the massage, feed an hour after the treadmill, and replace the water. In the ninth week. Walk ten miles from five to eight o'clock. Do 20 minutes on the treadmill. Walk for 30 minutes to cool down. Treadmill another 20 minutes. Walk for another 30 minutes to cool down. Do the massage. Feed him an hour after the treadmill and. 
Replace water. Tenth week. Walk 10 miles from 5 to 8 o'clock. Do 30 minutes on the treadmill. Walk for 30 minutes to cool down. Treadmill another 30 minutes. Walk for another 30 minutes to cool down. Do the massage. Feed him an hour after the treadmill and replace water. Eleventh week. On Sunday. Begin the 10 mile hike at 4 o'clock and finish the hike at 7 o'clock. Do 30 minutes on the treadmill. Walk for 30 minutes to cool down. Treadmill another 30 minutes. Walk for another 30 minutes to cool down. Do the massage. Feeding at 10.30 and. Replace water. Do the same as Sunday, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. On Friday. Walk for 8 kilometers, ending at 8 o'clock. Do 20 minutes on the treadmill. Walk for another 30 minutes to cool down. Put another 20 minutes on the treadmill. And another 30 minutes walk to cool off. Do the massage. Feed an hour after the treadmill at 10.10 and water. On Saturday. Walk 8 kilometers. 15 minutes on the treadmill. Walk for another 30 minutes to cool down. Put another 15 minutes on the treadmill. Get a massage. Feed an hour after the treadmill at 10.10 and give the water. In the twelfth week. On Sunday. Walk 8 kilometers at 8 o'clock. Place for 10 minutes on the mat. Walk for another 30 minutes to cool down. Put another 10 minutes on the treadmill. Do the massage. Feed 1 hour after the treadmill, the 9 hours and 50 minutes, and water. Monday. Walk 1 hour ending at 8 o'clock. Do 10 minutes on the treadmill. Walk for another 30 minutes to cool down. Do the massage. Feed 1 hour after the treadmill, the 9 hours and 10 minutes and water. Tuesday. I put the dog in a kennel in the bedroom, keep the room cool and quiet. I take him early in the morning for a nice walk. About a 30 to 45 minute walk. Put him in the crate by noon, and take him for another 30 to 45 minute walk. At 4 in the afternoon, he takes a walk for an hour. At 5 o'clock feed the dog, and put him back in the kennel. At 9 p.m., walk around just long enough for him to empty or urinate. Put in the kennel until morning. I offer him water after every walk before he goes back to the kennel. On Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I do the same as on Tuesday. On Friday. I do my best to get to the show area at least 30 hours before the fight. So I can feed the last meal there and make sure my dog gets plenty of rest. At 8 in the evening, 2 cubic centimeters dex 2 mg ml. Place under the skin, not in the muscle. On Saturday. 6 in the morning, 5 cubic centimeters dex under the skin. All this is a guide if the combat is on Saturday at 8 p.m. I never feed but once a day. This will keep your dog regular and ensure he is empty at fight time. After taking his belly fat off, that's the most important thing. Make sure it is empty at the time of the fight. He'll be hot for a week if he has anything in his stomach. To gain weight, I use broth without solids. I pass the chicken broth through a cloth and save half a liter. You can give this to him up to three hours before show time, and it won't do any harm. And lastly, this is just a guide. You have to use common sense to apply successfully. Example. If the dog loses weight, feed more. If he gains weight, he works harder or feeds less. If he is tired, rest him. If you're lazy and don't work with your dog, he won't be in shape. If it is dry, 
add more broth. If his stool is too wet, reduce the broth. Don't train too fast. Work according to the pre-maintenance schedule to prepare it for the job. Few people have the ability to condition. I once read an article that Earl Tudor wrote that said he doubted there were five men in the world. Who knew how to find a dog's weight, get the fat out of the gut, and know how to condition him after he got the fat off. I will go another step and say. If today there are three who know this and are not too lazy to put it in shape, I don't know. Good luck. It is hard work, and it takes a lot of time. I do not promote, support or condone any violations of the Animal Welfare Act 1976. Or any other local, state and federal law. I am not affiliated with dogfighting in any way, or in any way. I am simply a pet owner and enthusiast of the American Pit Bull Terrier, and the great history and legacy passed down through the generations. I believe it is important to know where we came from to know where we are going. Articles posted are strictly for historical and educational purposes. I do not necessarily represent the opinions expressed in these articles. My name is Rodolfo Luis, and I invite everyone to enjoy the knowledge of this wonderful breed. Sign up so you don't miss the next video. God bless you all. I went.